beginning with Dr. Judy Genshaw. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have to tell you that I just uh, came back from New York where we were playing basketball and we've gotten a bell that has a bowl on the top. So we might have to make sure that you have a, a bowl bell here. How's that? Better than cow. Cow bell. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for coming and listening to me. The, uh, University of South Florida system has just come through one of the most challenging chapters in its, in its history since 1956 when it was first chartered. No matter the outcome, the recent months have been an incredible experience in understanding the important role that we play in, in our community, in our region, and the state of Florida. So for the first time, we heard people and important public bodies articulate in very strong ways how important higher education is to our state's development and our economic base that we have. We've seen widespread recognition that universities drive the new economy and that we as a state desperately want to remake and rejuvenate this economy. For USF, this was also an incredible opportunity to define and redefine our university's values. And that starts with our students' success. It is our number one priority and concern. Our focus is to graduate students prepared to be in the successful global economy. And we've had a laser-like focus on student success but now our state sees how truly determined we are to provide world-class education for our students. They understand how a research university becomes the best place for students to learn because they are learning with those on a cutting edge of new technology and, and uh, knowledge. It has been difficult, it has been difficult to see our USF Polytechnic students faculty and staff endure this controversy, but I'm very proud that they've spoken loudly and with consistent voices on what they value in their university and in education. And these are individuals who are focused and committed to excellence, and it's very important to me that USF does everything within its power to support those students in the completion of their studies. <coughs> So let me just run through a few of the items. The USF Polytechnic students will get their USF diploma. They will get a diploma that is meaningful and an asset worthy of their time and money. They will be prepared to shine in the job market and be successful. They will have a degree that will grow in value as our university continues to focus on its excellence and growth in its national and international reputation. USF will, will get $10 million each year for five years to allow current and recently admitted USF Polytechnic students to finish their degrees at the existing USF Poly Polk State College joint campus. The plan sets a five-year timeline, but USF will continue supporting US, the existing USF students in Lakeland if it takes longer than that. We understand that many of our students are juggling full-time jobs, parenthood, and other responsibilities that do not allow them to finish quickly. But we are determined and will work with them to make sure that they are as successful as our traditional students. And as for the future, we hope talented people in Polk County will see USF as their university as well. We have incredible programs in science, technology, math, and engineering, and we have some of the best faculty anywhere working directly with students inventing new products and creating new technologies. As a matter of fact, 41% of our graduates in the University of South Florida system are STEM graduates and, and also in healthcare. 
So there is a true spirit of innovation throughout USF. We're the ninth leading university in the world in securing new US patents. That doesn't happen by accident. Many of those patents are held by students who have created new inventions in their classes. And if you're interested in becoming a math or science educator, we have amazing programs working with local school districts on how to best teach math and science in our public schools. And we have one of the most notable colleges of marine sciences in the world. We're making great strides in rehabilitative technology and working directly with the Department of Veterans Administration in helping injured Iraq and Afghanistan veterans recover and reclaim their lives. Their work is truly doing what, what we need to see done in our, in our culture and in the state of Florida. So I just want you to know that we are all working very carefully to make sure that the current USF students at USF Poly will graduate with a USF degree at the, at the Poly uh, Polk State College campus. And uh, we want to make sure that we are there for the students and student success. So I'd like to stop right there and turn this over to